Well, lawmakers wheeling and dealing to get a new financial rules bill passed before the July 4th holiday. One of the biggest critics of the bill is Senator Judd Gregg, and he's standing by with my colleague Peter Cook. Peter. Betty, thanks very much. Joined by Republican Senator Judd Gregg of New Hampshire, member of the Banking Committee, the ranking member on the Budget Committee, a critic of what's coming out of this uh, conference report with regard to regulatory reform, and now an even bigger critic after what they did last night, the Democrats, in terms of how they pay for this legislation. You oppose what they do. In fact, I've seen you animated, but last night I've seen you about as angry as I've ever seen you. Well, you know, you shouldn't lie to the American people, which is exactly what they're doing here. They said... When we did the TARP bill, we said very specifically that any money that came back from TARP was going to go to reduce the debt which we incurred in order to do TARP. We borrowed $700 billion, or up to $700 billion, borrowed it from the Chinese, I guess. And we told the American people that when that money was paid back, much of which has been paid back, we would use it to pay down the debt. Now what they're going to do is spend it. And, and that, that's breaking a covenant with the American people. We made a very clear commitment to the American people that that money would be used to pay down the debt, not to create a new program. In addition, they're doing this double counting, where they're going to increase the cost to banks for their FDIC insurance, but instead of using it and putting it in the FDIC insurance fund, they're going to use it to offset this new spending. So they're going to double, double count it. They're going to claim they're using it for the insurance fund and they're using it to fund this program. It is total fraud on the American people. Honestly, if you did this in the private sector, you'd go to jail. You, you could not do this in the, in the private sector. You heard the response from Democrats. They are reluctantly doing this. They prefer to tax big banks like Goldman, J.P. Morgan, to foot the bill for, for this regulatory reform effort, $20 billion uh, roughly. But they're doing this to try and reach out to some of the moderate Senate Republicans, some of your colleagues who have expressed support for the legislation but said they couldn't support a bank tax. What do you make of that? This is an effort to try and reach out to some of your colleagues. Oh, I just think that's hokum. I mean, basically, if they wanted to do this, they didn't have to do either of those. They didn't have to lie to the American people by misusing the TARPS funds. They didn't have to double count by misusing the FDIC funds. And they didn't have to raise, raise taxes. They could have cut their stimulus money, money, which is being spent in 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018. I proposed that in the committee. I said, pay for this with, by reducing the stimulus funding in the out years, uh, which is not going to be used for stimulus because it's basically being used for walking around money for various spending programs that members of the Congress want uh, and use that to fund this bill. So let's set priorities. That's what we should be doing around here. We shouldn't be adding to the tax burden of the American people and we shouldn't be adding to the debt of the American people. We should be, if we want to spend money here, we should take it from some other place in the federal government. We got $3.8 trillion we're spending. We can find $18 billion. You've been a crucial player, an integral player in these talks of regulatory reform for months now. You know the situation. There were 60 votes back in May in the Senate to move it out of the Senate. What is the status now? Of course, Senator Byrd's death has uh, raised a complication for Democrats. You have these four Republicans who voted for it the last time. What's going to happen to Scott Brown, Olympia Snow, Susan Collins, and Chuck Grassley? Are they going to be on board with the Democrats at the end of the day? Well, I don't know. You'll have to ask them. Uh, I guess there are a couple of Democrats who voted against it who might vote for it. Maybe there are a couple of Republicans who voted for it who might vote against it. We'll find out when we get to the final count, I suspect. Do you think there's a chance you can still blow this up? No. No. This has the momentum of the presidency and the majority party behind it, and I suspect it will pass. Senator Judd Gregg of New Hampshire, as always, appreciate you, the time.